Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Ton and I'm back with another video. So in this video today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some samples like Des Right. So the first thing I started with is this analog lab right here. I picked this preset called Outcast from a Nahum analog lab bank and I laid down these simple chords and here's what it sounds like. So yeah, as you can see, it's the same two chords, but then to that, I ended up adding a Valhalla Room. I can't open it right now, but it was just a default preset with the mix turned down to about 20%. And then I added a Reels with this good tape preset. And here's what it sounds like with effects. Next, I opened up Analog Lab again, and I picked this time this preset called Girls Like Arps, again from a Nahum preset bank. And I copied and pasted the same chords, but pitched them up one octave and added this very simple melody right there. So to that, I added a lot of effects. Firstly, I added a reels with this low high preset. Then I added some halftime. Good hurts low high, rolling off some of the highs. An effect rack with the sweep world preset. I added this portal to give it some texture with the sweep preset. A stereoizer from waves. And finally, an EQ cutting some of the lows and some of the highs out. Next, I opened up Contact and I added a flute. I'm pretty sure the flute was from a Passio flute. I can't open it right now because it's acting up. And I laid this simple pattern that you heard in the preview and that I'll play later on. But just bear in mind to this flute, I added some effects. I added some camel space with this at midnight preset. I added a shaper box doing a panning automation, panning it from left to right. A wow control from the good hertz just to add some detune. A reverb from Valhalla and then another EQ cutting some of these frequencies right there. And now finally, I opened up Analog Lab again and picked this dark west trap preset from a hze analog lab bank and i copied and pasted the same chords again at the same octave but this time changed the melody around here's what it sounds like So that I added a half time, I added a reels with this good tape preset again. Then I added a parametric EQ cutting the lows and this frequency right here. And then I ended up adding three EQs, one cutting the lows, another one rolling off some of the highs and some of these frequencies right there. And then finally the same thing again, just rolling some more highs and this frequency right there. Here's what it sounds like now. So yeah, as you can hear, it's gonna be way more in the background and more as like a texture. Then I added this texture. I'm not sure if you can hear, so I'm just gonna normalize it. But as you can see, I turned down the volume by quite a lot. Then I wanted to add some movement and some more textures using percussion loops, so I added this only one percussion loop. And I layered it with this other one. So I turned the volume down and adding some very subtle effects. I added an EQ with a pan pass narrow preset, getting rid of some of the highs and some of the lows. And then I added this outer space plugin from Audio Thing using this Motor Verb SJA preset, turning the mix down to around 30% and here's how the percussion loops sound like. So I'm gonna play the final sample without any effects. So for the effects, I added this pre-child compressor from Waves, just adding a bit of compression. Then I added this spin plugin from Clevgrand using the Palm preset, turning the mix down to around 10%. I then added a Reels from Audio Thing again, using this good tape preset. And finally, an EQ getting rid of some lows and some of these frequencies from the flute that were a little too harsh. Then I ended up changing the arrangement and added some final effects. Then I ended up changing the arrangement, but here's what it sounds like.
So yeah, guys, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, you're more than welcome to leave some suggestions for some future videos in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it from me today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.